Hi there guys, it is Sincerely here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back with another video for you all and today I am back with a cast slash build video. Now this video was recommended by the amazing, fantastic, emotional kryptonite. Um, they suggested I built this whole dealio here that we've got today, a grandmother and their granddaughter who work on a little cottage farm on a lot in Windenburg. Now I thought this was such a grand idea and I was really excited to, you know, just make this whole idea happen. Um, these characters are CC free and same with the build. I always build CC free, but um, this is really, really exciting because this is something I have never done before. I've never done a cast slash build video in one entire video together. So I think I'm really excited about this one. I am, if you guys are excited as me, as I am, then shout with me, A, yay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask. Okay. Um, but anyways, so this is going to be a really exciting build because I, you know, the thing is I love building off of prompts and writing off of prompts and doing things off of prompts, like drawing, whatever it may be, whatever creative endeavor it may be. And I was really excited to be sharing this one with you all today because it's just something different. And I was excited to experiment a little bit with content differentness, um, a little bit of different content because you know what? I was like, I never do that. I never experiment with content. That is something I never do. And I was like, heck, why not experiment with a little bit of spicy content in here? So this is what we got. We got cute little Sims. This grandma, as you are watching her being built, um, built, made, I don't know. Anyways, I guess it is create a sim, so I guess create. Anyways, so this is May Whitmore. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name. Whitmore? Is it Whitmore or Whitman? It might be Whitman. I don't really know. I think it's Mae Whitman. Um, or am I thinking of the actor? I don't know. Anyways, um, you guys will see her name just up here in a moment here. Um, May, what did I put down here? I put Whit May um, Whitmore. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of sounds weird. Anyways. Um, so that's K May Whitman. And then she has her great or not her great, her granddaughter, whose name is Ellie Whitmore. And honestly, they are just such a cute little duo. I wrote in their bio, I wish I had the bio so that I could read it to you guys, but essentially they are just a cute little mom and daughter kind of duo. They're not really mom and daughter, but they're granddaughter and grandma duo. And they're just the per fantastic duo that just absolutely love farming and have had this, you know, farm for maybe generations even. I'm not really exactly sure at the moment. I haven't come up with their whole full backstory. However, I did write up a little bit of something um, that I cannot think of at the top of my head. Um, but I guess that that is that. But um, I only work on their first outfits because I thought, you know what? I don't really want to show you guys all of their outfits while I'm building my Sims because this is going to be one of my videos or these characters along with this build is going to be for my save file. So you guys will be able to see that there. And I'm just so, so excited. I was kind of thinking what I was thinking is building all the builds on the island in Windenburg, like more modern. And then this one specific build has been there for ages and years. And it's kind of a little bit older and a little bit more like fantastical. And so I kind of thought, you know what, that'd be kind of interesting to have that because this house has been around for generations and generations, whereas the rest of the builds have kind of just come about here and there. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, we are on to the build finally. So this is super exciting because I just love this build so much. I worked really hard on it and I just, I think it's so pretty and fantastical and I really, really wanted to go for definitely mystical, fantastical vibes. That was totally what I was going for in this build and I just really wanted to do something along those lines and I thought this was perfect to do for that build and I guess it just makes me all nostalgic for The Sims 3 because I really want fairies in The Sims 4 but that's besides the point. The point is is that I wanted to do something a little bit more fantastical, something that's a little bit you know odd and maybe a little bit different than what you might see in the rest of Windenburg um, per se. So um, this is what we go got going on here and she's a cute little build. We like her and I tried going for a bit of a tiny home build but I don't think it necessarily worked, which is a little unfortunate. I should have seen on the lot tiles how many lot tiles there was in order to like have the tiny lot trait, which I could still do, um, but I didn't end up doing that. So um, maybe I will do that when I put the save file in this 
uh, in my save file. <laughs> so I guess we'll see as that goes along. But I wanted to definitely have the farm vibe for this house. I wanted to have the cute little, you know, um, plotter plants. And then we have the chicken coop. And um, I wanted to fit a little llama area in here, a little llama residence in here as well. However, uh, it just didn't necessarily work out because I just thought the lot was too small for that. Um, I think it would have been good, but I don't think it would have been great. So I just decided not to do that. And um, this build, oh my gosh, you guys, I am so, so obsessed with it. I was listening to, okay, this is going to sound ridiculous, which is so dumb. This is like such a contrast to this build because I feel like this build is so innocent and lovely and just good, you know? Um, whereas what I was listening to while um, watching or wh what I was listening to while building this was a crime podcast. And I don't know why that makes me so nostalgic. For some reason, for some odd reason, that makes me very nostalgic and I don't know why. Um, I guess maybe it reminds me of the days back when in like 2016 where I'd watch a bunch of crime shows with my mom. I don't really know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I can't watch those anymore because they just freak me out. Like, I don't mind listening to a podcast about crime things, but just literally watching it just freaks me out. So let's not. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, so I just kind of went for a cute little build and I do end up having a second level where it's like the quote unquote attic is. And for the attic area, we have the daughter's bedroom or the granddaughter's bedroom. I'm just going to say daughter because you know what? It's close enough. Relative, right? Right. So we have a granddaughter who lives on the second floor and she has a tiny tiny bedroom but I imagine her being maybe a bit of an artist or something um, or maybe her grandma was a bit of an artist and you know her mother her grandmother kind of fell out of that love and so her daughter her granddaughter is like okay maybe I can make myself a living with doing this and I can actually you know do something cool I don't know like something that my grandma was into and I can just kind of do myself and I really feel like May um, or not May sorry um, Ellie the daughter the granddaughter really looks up to her mother in that way really looks up to her mother in the way that you know how she was raised and how you know her mom her mother her grandmother just is as a person and I really and it reminds me of my own relationship with my grandma so it's gonna make me all nostalgic and emotional but um I don't know I just love it a lot so um I really admire this relationship that this daughter daughter and grandmother have together so Yes. Anyways, um, so this is the whole build that we've kind of got the whole exterior going on here. And I was really trying to figure out what to do for this little attic area because I didn't want to make it too big um, just because I didn't want to have like a crazy amount of things going on, but I just couldn't get it working. So I ended up building a square kind of build. And at first I ended up building a square or at first I ended up building like an octangular. What's the word? Octangular octagon shape octagon oh my gosh I can't speak um I sp first built as you guys can see an octagon shaped build bedroom upstairs but it just did not work no matter what I tried I could not get stairs up to the second level and this is why we need to spiral staircase in the sims anyways that's besides the point I could have also used a ladder but I didn't really want to use a ladder because it's just it didn't seem to fit the theme I guess I could have I guess if I used like a wood ladder it would have worked anyway um that's besides the point um so yeah that's what we end up doing but for right now it's kind of looking a little a little I don't know just not looking good right now so um yeah anyway um so you know I really wanted to go for fairy vibes I know I keep talking about this build I've been talking about this build for literally minutes and you probably don't want to hear anything about the build actually you know what scratch that I don't know what people like hearing about when I talk and speed build I mean okay like I've been doing YouTube for years right and I just don't know what people like hearing me talk about in speed builds. Like, please let me know down below. What should I talk about? Like, because I, the thing is, I always used to look up to people. I would just listen to people, like, legit, I would just listen to people's uh, speed speed builds and I wouldn't even watch the speed builds and I would just listen to it like a podcast and I kind of became attuned to that and I used to do that a lot so I was like maybe that's what people like listening to with me maybe that's what they like listening to me is like just listening to me rant and talk about the sims or even my own life but I don't know is my life interesting I really don't think it is <laughs> um no I really like legitimately I do not think my life is interesting ever since COVID it's just gone downhill from there to be honest but I'm talking too much about my own personal life I'm sorry about that but, um, anyways, um, so 
One thing that got me really excited about this build is the idea of a fairies expansion pack. Now, I'm really sad that with The Sims 4 Cottage Living, it didn't come with fairies, which you guys, if it came with fairies, I would have been crying. I would have been so, so happy. I tweeted about a month or two ago about wanting a fairies expansion pack, and um, obviously since then, The Sims team has not replied to me, which is unfortunate because obviously I'm the most important person and they should reply to me. Um, I hope you know I'm being sarcastic, but anyways, um, so they haven't responded to me and they haven't responded to anyone about the idea of fairies in The Sims. And I'm really sad because I really want fairies. And if we never get fairies in The Sims 4, I'm going to be so, so sad. You have no freaking idea. Um, and I honestly don't want The Sims 4 to end. I know it's such a controversial opinion, but I don't want The Sims 4 to end because the thing is, okay, this is going to sound really confusing, but the thing is, is if we end The Sims 4, then we're going to have to build all the way back up with the next Sims game. With The Sims 5, we're going to have to build up with all of the packs, all of the content, all the custom content, and it's just going to be a whole mess, and I'm not excited for that. So that's why I like The Sims 4, and it's really easy to use on computers and stuff. It's like, it's low maintenance, you know? It's not that high maintenance for computers. Like, I could run it on my Mac computer. It would be, my computer fan would be running a lot, but at least I could play it. You know, I could play The Sims, not at the greatest high quality, but I could play The Sims, you know what I mean? Whereas the Sims 3 took a lot of horsepower to power that game. So I guess I just don't really want another expansion pack or not another, excuse me, I want another expansion pack. I don't want another like Sims 5, like I, maybe not for another couple of years, but maybe I should be ready, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready for that next phase of my life. Too many changes at once, you guys. Uh, speaking of expansion packs, I keep mentioning this and then I keep going on tangents is I really want a fairies expansion pack in The Sims. You have no freaking idea. I want fairies so bad in The Sims. It's not even funny. Um, fairies just make me so freaking happy and delightful. Like you have no idea. Um, it just makes me so nostalgic of The Sims 3 because we used to have these little bee wings and I talked about this in another speed build recently or a different video recently and I talked about how we had these little bee wings in the sims 3 and it was just so cute and I would put that on every fairy sim that I had and not that I played with fairies very often but when I did oh my goodness girl it was so cute it was amazing. I loved it so much. Um, but I know there is a fairies mod, which I guess I could get. I don't know. I mean, do I want to do that? Do I want to go through a whole hassle of like buying a mod? Not buying a mod. Uh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. If mods were paid for, oof, girl, no. Anyways, um, uh, I, I don't really want to go through the whole hassle of downloading a mod and then learning how to use a mod. I don't know. It's just, it's not really up my, up my lane right now. I just kind of want an expansion pack. Um, but I heard it's a pretty good mod, so maybe I should download it. I don't really know. Um, but speaking of spooky things, it is almost Halloween. Um, I don't know. Okay, so the thing is, is if this video is going out on Thursday, and if they announce the next expansion pack by then, um, and it's fairies, I'm toast because I keep talking about fairies in The Sims. So I may be onto something. I don't know. Um, because um, just... I don't, we don't know what the next expansion pack is. They haven't even talked about it yet. So I really don't freaking know. Um, but I guess we'll figure out soon enough, right? Right. Anyways. Um, so speaking of magical things, I started playing another video game. You guys, I'm so, so excited. Oh my goodness. You have no freaking idea. Um, basically I, you know, I've seen this whole trend about, um, true colors, life is strange, um, true colors. And I have been wanting to get into Life is Strange for the longest time. You have no idea. But the thing is that's held me back for such a long time is because I've been known as a Sims player and not as an anything else player. I've always been known as a Sims player and not as any other type of player in the game. And so I'm like, okay, well, I want to expand my repertoire and I want to, you know, try other games. However, I'm scared because I love The Sims and I don't want anyone to judge me for playing other games. I feel like that makes absolutely no sense, but I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm a Sims player. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, so I downloaded um, Life is Strange and because it was free, the first episode at least, and I haven't gotten through the full first episode yet, um, but I am starting to get through it. And if you guys have never played Life is Strange, holy freaking smokes. It is 
such a good game. Oh my gosh. And I think it just gets even better. Like the animations, the, the everything just gets so much better. And it makes me want to become a video game designer. One of my friends is actually majoring in video game design and it makes me want to become a video game designer. Like, I don't know. I think just the whole aspect of symbolism and I don't know, just symbolism and, you know, all of these like fun things, being a director and doing all of these things. It's just so freaking cool. But if you guys didn't know what my major is, speaking of college and whatnot, I am a film major. So, you know, I've got that up my belt. I've got that up my repertoire. I don't know. Um, so I'm kind of going into this in a similar industry as my friend is uh, with the with like the filming and video games design and whatnot. So it's kind of similar, I would say, um, but not completely. But um, they are like, oh my gosh, they play all sorts of games and they like, they like literally they stream on Twitch and they're, they're pretty cool person. So anyways, if you want to check them out, um, I don't know, should I plug them? I don't feel like I should. I feel like that's not okay because I didn't even ask them to talk about them in the video. So I'm not even going to link their th content just because, uh, that's, I'm not going to do that. So, cause I don't know if they want to be like fully public or whatnot. So I just, I don't really want to, you know, do that. So anyway, um, that's besides the point. Anyways, as I was saying, I was started playing life is strange and holy smokes, you guys, it is such a beautiful game. I love the music. The music is absolutely gorgeous. The, everything about the game is so, so, so amazing. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. The game is really pretty and beautiful and just, it's something I've never done before. I used to play games on the Wii, like, <laughs> Wow, the Wii. I know, right? I used to play games on the Wii that were like um, similar to that. Life is Strange, similar to Life is Strange, but this game, girl, it's good. Um, so I'm really obsessed with it and I just want to play it all night long, but I can't. But yeah, Life is Strange is such a cool game and I'm just really obsessed with it because it's just so amazing. It's so beautiful and um, this has a magical girl in it. She's pretty freaking magical. So if you're into that, let me know um, because you should play it because heck yeah. You know what I just noticed? Wait, hold on. You know that little bumble tree, whatever it's called, the bumble tree. I don't know what it's called. The tree that I put down in this lot that came with Cottage Living that was like the add-on expansion pack thingy. It comes with a little secret door, you guys. What does that mean? Wait, does that mean that we're gonna like get fairies? <laughs> okay, no, I gotta stop now um, because I am just seriously obsessed with fairies. Um, but yeah, so, um, I really have been into magical things lately. Like, I don't know what to say, but I've been really into magical things lately and I have no idea why. Like, I read this book called Car Caravel. I think that's how you pronounce it. The book is called Caravel or Carnival. It looks like Carnival, but it's called Caravel. It's C-A-R-A-V-A-L, Caravel. I think that's how you pronounce it. And oh my gosh, it's, uh, it was such a good book. I'm really obsessed with it. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with book talk. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of has gotten me back into reading and I keep seeing people tweet about like, oh, um, reading and stuff like that. And I'm like, I need to get back into reading and all of these things. And it's funny because I used to hate reading as a child because I'm dyslexic. So like who, who, who would want to read as a dyslexic? Because reading is so difficult. I agree there. Reading is very difficult as a dyslexic. But besides the point, I just have seriously just, oh my gosh, you guys, I, oh my gosh. Um, I've started getting back into reading and, or kind of, I, I don't know. Okay. So I read when I was younger for like a long time. I used to read for a really long time when I was younger and I read from like in fourth grade and all I read, literally all I would read is the Goosebumps series. And now I read a bunch of different things from book talk <laughs> because that's my only source of entertainment. Um, <laughs> like seriously though, is it just me or is TikTok become so saturated? Okay. Anyways, that's besides, that's for a whole nother conversation. Um, but, uh, besides the point, the point is, is that book TikTok has recommended me so many different books and I'm just so obsessed and addicted and I just want to read everything in two minutes, but I have literally, I feel like I have no time on my hands sometimes. And like, I just want to be doing everything at once, but I can't be doing everything at once. And so it's kind of a frustrating process. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm just one of those people that constantly has to be doing something. Like I can't just sit around and watch TV. Like I have talked about this before, how I don't watch TV on my channel and my friends know this about me. They just know I don't watch TV and it's kind of unfortunate because I wish I could watch TV, but if I'm going to watch TV, I need to be doing something with my hands because if I don't do something with my hands, then I automatically go to just spazzing out. I just can't sit still. Like I get so angst, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like kind of angst, not the word. No, not angst. Uh, just kind of like antsy. I get kind of antsy and I can't just sit, sit still. So like, honestly, 
honestly. So, (laughs) so I guess, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so excited to be getting back into reading. And that's the one thing I can do and kind of sit still ish, somewhat ish. Um, um, I read that book and now I am reading, what am I reading? Oh, I'm reading Eleanor and Park, which if you know, it's a bit, I would say a bit of a problematic book. Um, from what I have read personally, it seems a bit problematic and I feel bad because I don't, okay, sorry, Jojo, if you're watching this video, (laughs) Jojo is my best friend. If she is watching this video, I'm sorry, but I need to discuss that with you. It's a little bit problematic. Um, but you know, it's a good book. It's, it has a good storyline, I feel like, but it's just a little much, you know, um, a lot of stuff is going on in the book too much at once. I feel like, um, but I mean, it has a good concept to it. I feel like the other books might be better. The other books by Rainbow Raoul, I believe that's how you pronounce their name. Anyways, I feel like their other books might be better, but, um, this book is, is something, you know, it's, it's a vibe. Um, to be honest, it's something that I feel like I'm kind of into, but I'm also not because it feels a bit problematic, but you know, that's besides the point that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, you probably noticed throughout this house, um, sorry, I keep shifting topics from one thing to another, to another, to another. Um, but as you may see throughout this house, there is a lot of green items and I really was excited because I wanted to add a green theme. I don't know if I already mentioned this in this video. I may have, um, but there is a lot of green things throughout this build and I'm just so excited because I just love the symbolism that green has and like green is like a new beginning and calmness and just all of those vibes and I really wanted to go with that for this house um just have a cute little green vibe so I hope you guys enjoy also another thing you guys is I need a shout out to Susu Rain because they're so sweet I love them so much oh my gosh they shouted me out in one of their videos so I have to shout out to you Susu Rain um I'll put their links down below like if you want to find their YouTube video their YouTube channel um because they're such a nice person oh my god I love them so much. Um, she, um, she mentioned me in one of her videos about how she had unicorns in the back of her room. And I'm just like, girl, yes, me too. Me too. Um, I, oh my gosh, I have way too many unicorns in my room. Maybe one day, I, I think one day, one of these days, maybe like far down, maybe far, maybe not far down the future, but like far ish down the future, I'm going to probably do like a desk tour and a room tour eventually, or maybe I'll build it in the Sims. I'm not completely sure what I'll do, but then you'll get to see all my random crap in my room, such as unicorns. So that's exciting. So shout out to you, Susu Rain. Anyways, um, so, you know, I just got to say though, before I end this video is, um, or before I stop talking about Susu Rain is that seriously, we need to collaborate. And why am I not saying this to you? I don't know because I'm a little afraid. I just, I get scared to DM people. Okay. And I want to collaborate on something, but I'm scared because I, I, I just, it scares me. Um, <laughs> I have a bit of a fear of like people rejecting me. So please don't reject me. I love you, Susu Rain. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. I just feel like it's so crazy because as, as of lately, I feel like I've gotten so much more immersed into the Sims community. And I'm so, so happy about that because a while ago, I was kind of going through an existential crisis mode where I was like, nobody likes me on Sims Tube and nobody likes me. And now I'm like, I have a little tiny, tiny community and I love it so, so much. Thank you guys for making me happy and I just love it so much. Um, so I really appreciate everyone, every single one of you guys who watch my videos or listens to me rant um, because I love you guys and you guys make me smile. So yeah, it's kind of funny. I have a yoga teacher um, who, who I, a class for college and I do yoga. I'm doing a yoga class for college and I know, right? Yoga for college. What a vibe, right? Maybe that's why I'm so less stressed than normal. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so she always goes in the class, um, put, put your smile up and she'll like put her hands on her hands on her mouth and be like, smile. And it's like, oh my goodness. I mean, I need to like, honestly. Um, so yeah, so we're kind of getting to the end of this video. We are finally working on the last and final room, which is, um, Ellie's room. And she is such a cutie. You guys, I love her so, so much. And that new hair from cottage living. Oh my God, you guys, I can't with it. It is so freaking cute. Um, I love it so, so much. Anyways, I am going to go. So I hope you guys all have a magical day and I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. (laughs)